Okay, so the next uh, thing that we uh, learned about that I didn't really, I mean, there's certain things that I knew about, certain things I didn't really think about. So here in uh, Liberty Square, um, you have this trail that runs down kind of the middle of the pathway. And uh, yeah, well, in these times of the, you know, colonial times of 1700s, because um, at the top of all the buildings, you'll see a, a year, and that's supposed to represent the time of the building itself, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm just kind of going from memory, so please, you know, check these facts and don't yell at me. Um, but anyways, this is supposed to represent poop, okay? Because in colonial times, people would... They, they didn't have indoor bathrooms, so they would toss this stuff out in the street. So with that, that's what this is supposed to represent, as well as there are no bathrooms in this land of the park. Liberty. In Liberty Square. There are no bathrooms in Liberty Square, which I never noticed, I never noticed that either. <laughs> like, I, I understood what this represented, but I never thought about that they didn't put any bathrooms here in Liberty Square. Um, so, um, if you follow this path, it will lead you to bathrooms in, other uh, in, in the other lands. Um, so we're going to keep on going this direction. And this is also supposed to re represent us going from the east to the west to the Western Times, and you can watch the dates on the top of the buildings. And as well as the style of the buildings change. So we are heading from the east to the west, like I said, remember? So here is a bridge that we're going to be walking across, which there used to be a stream that ran through here, which it seems like it's, I guess it still is, it's running kind of slow. But this is supposed to represent the Mississippi River as you head from the east to the west. So and you can kind of see the buildings are changing and whatnot. And now you're in frontier land, but it's supposed to represent as times changed as we started venturing out to the uh, west. So there you can see on top of the saloon there, it says 1878. So that's supposed to represent now you're in the 1800s, or 1878 rather. You were, I guess, started out in the 1800s. Yeah, I'm kind of ridiculous, I know. But uh, yeah, and then over there is Splash Mountain little tidbit when you go to an amusement park and you see puddles on the ground there, there's probably probably good good guess that there's something that's gonna spray water in that general vicinity so when we were backstage uh, in May these were backstage both camels were backstage and they were all gray because they had just been sandblasted to be repainted and whatnot in May, so. And then I think it wasn't too much longer after that that they, uh, that they were back, so. But yeah, they're fully refurbished. And these camels have a long history. They were in a parade at MGM, they were out in front of a restaurant at MGM, and then they built this Aladdin ride and they brought them here.
So I just can't imagine the storage facility that Disney has for a lot of this kind of stuff. Okay, so this video is going to be a little weird because the show just ended and whatnot and I, they still haven't opened up through the middle of the castle, but you'll get the idea. So, uh, the three connecting lands um, from the hub here, from the middle of the Magic Kingdom, is Fantasyland, which you get to, or you could get to, through the center of Cinderella's Castle. And you would be able to see uh, the, the uh, merry-go-round, or the carousel, rather. You'd be able to see it directly through the opening in the castle, which is not technically centered in with Cinderella's Castle. I think I told a story about that earlier. When they were placing the carousel, it was centered in the middle of the castle, and they looked through the opening uh, down Main Street and said, no, 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 it's got to be centered in the opening. So they picked it up and moved it. Um, that's what the story, that's how the story goes. Um, so then if you look over here towards Tomorrowland, you can see directly in Tomorrowland, you can see the People Mover, you can see the, um, Y Astro Orbiters, I could not think of what the name of the ride was. But yeah, so these two lands, you can see directly into them, okay? But now if I turn over this way to Adventureland, you can't see into Adventureland. You just see trees and jungle. And I guess, yes, the sign that says Adventureland. But that's all that you see in Adventureland. That's all that you see. So this is also one of the other things is, is look at the building changes from Main Street is just over here to as we turn over towards Adventureland. So you can see there's no, there's, there's no real covering. There's a porch over here. And you kind of have some windows that get a little bit more covered up. And kind of, I mean, the whole architecture kind of changes as you're heading over towards Adventureland until you end up in the jungle. Oh, oh sorry. So, you end up in the jungle as you end up heading in towards Adventureland. It's supposed to be a mystery, Sarah says. And if you ride the Jungle Cruise, you call them hippo bottomlesses. Because they're bottomless. They're bottomless hippos. Walt Disney didn't feel the need to pay for any to pay for any uh, anything that was never going to actually be seen. So, because the hippos in uh, in the Jungle Cruise, you never see the bottoms of them, so they're actually called hippo bottomlesses because they don't have bottoms. Uh, I think that's about all that I remember. Hope you've enjoyed this segment. So, now off to another grand adventure. And thus ends our trip at Let's Go Fly a Kite as playing as we're walking out of the Magic Kingdom. Um, so yeah, we're walking out of the Magic Kingdom. We're gonna head over and pick up the van over at Hollywood Studios. Um, yeah, this is probably the last time I'm at the Magic Kingdom this trip. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. So we are uh, we're out of here. And yeah, the Halloween party is tonight. So the balloons are inflated as we drive by. So this is a pretty good day so far. Um, oh, hey, Sarah. There is a crosswalk right here. Ah. Uh, <laughs> we got part way oh, over there ow. walking. That's my face. Walking there. on this side of the tram. And uh, I was like, oh no, we have to be on this side of the tram. Completely Double forgot. Back. Completely forgot that there's a crosswalk right here. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're heading back to the house. And. Where did we park? Oh, but wait, we remember where we parked. Because we did that. We locked it in our... 
phones. Logged it in our phones, and you know where we parked. Do you remember? Do you remember where we parked? No idea. So, we remembered where we parked. But look, we're like the one, two, three. We're the fourth van from the exit of the aisle. We walked all that way to get to our van. Sarah would like to get Let into the go. van. She wants to go see June. Would you like to go see June? Let's see June. Okay, here you go. There's the baby girl. Hey! We're ah. back at the house. Here you go. She's mad. Priority. She's hungry. <laughs> but isn't she so cute? She's so cute. She got a big bump on her head last night. Yeah, don't know how that happened. Yes, me too. <laughs> she was trying to climb up. Learning her personal space. So, yep. Okay, so since it's been like five hours since we asked you with the question, um, but it's really only been like 15 minutes worth of video that we've probably shot. Um, so the three movies that the princesses do not wear shoes are as followed. What were they? Pocahontas. So, okay, right. Pocahontas, Moana, and Tangled. Rapunzel did not wear shoes in the movie. So, those, those are the three princesses slash movies that the characters did not wear shoes. There you go. Okay, remember, we're in orange L4, row 11. There we go. Now we know where we parked. Or you guys remember where we parked. We're now at Disney Springs in the orange garage. So, we're gonna check out Disney Springs. So I didn't get to walk around a whole lot on Saturday, so there we go. Wow. So we are standing out in front of the NBA experience. This place is pretty massive. Not to mention the building that it replaced was pretty massive, but because Disney Quest used to be here. So it's kind of sad. I kind of like Disney Quest, but they're still hard at work on it though. This is pretty impressive. Okay, so we are getting some cookie dough from the cookie dough truck at Disney Springs. Here's kind of the menu. Sorry. We're getting a cold brew cookie dough Sunday. So yeah. So there's a cookie dough truck and then there's the uh, Spring Street taco truck. So yep. So there's that. And then up at the front, I know there's a Four Rivers food truck. But there's the balloon. Wow, look at it swaying. It's catching some wind. Wow. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Sarah and I went on that one time. Quite a while ago. Looks like fun. We already ate one of Mickey's ears, but we by we he means he did. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's interesting. Very yummy. It's cookie dough. And there's the baby girl. And there's my wife. Okay, so I think we're gonna eat the chicken guy. Here is some of the flavors of sauces that they have. There's some of them. I love all of the different pictures of these chickens. Okay. Chicken guy, there's baby girl, and mom. So yeah, everybody's eating except for Sarah. Because Nana's eating hers. 
June's eating her bottle. Sarah has hers. Yeah, I and I have mine. But, yeah. Ooh, that's delicious. It looks good. So I have to be quick, but uh, we're in anthropology, I guess. So Sarah and her mom are over there shopping, but uh, when baby girl isn't using the fan, I turn it around and use it on the stroller. Baby girl found a mirror. Baby girl found a mirror. Look at that. <laughs> She's so cute. Who's that baby? Who's that baby? Who is that baby? Why are you so fussy? And you got your jammies on, huh? Oh yeah, look at the bottle. Oh yeah, so excited. You're so cute, baby girl. Hmm. Hmm. Did you eat me? So here's a stitch pin that I traded for that is from. Disneyland Hong Kong. It's a 2010 pin. It's really kind of cool, I think. So I traded that for tonight. So here's some other ones. So Sarah traded for that one. I traded for that one today. Um, these are just some of my other pins that I have. Most of the most of the vinyl mations I've had, I had back in May. So I've got all of these. these and those. I completed that set. Which how I got this stitch pin is I had an extra one of uh, the Winnie the Poohs. And some somebody needed that Winnie the Pooh to finish their set. So and I found this teacup chaser. And then I've got all of these duffies. There's I think at least two different sets um, that I have. I haven't really looked at the backs of these to see which is with which sets but yeah I'm missing a few I think so yep I keep my eye out for them so that's what I've got and then I traded for these two earlier today there's some chick-fil-a barbecue sauce from yesterday uh, and got this one I'm pretty sure that I already have one of that stitch um, but I can look at my other pins. And then I still have all of these, uh, from Disneyland. These are, uh, I believe from, like, the Ferris wheel. So, yup. Cool. So that's what I've got it's for pins. Oh, thank you, computer. It's 10 o'clock, evidently. So, probably sometime when we get back from vacation, I'll show you all of these but I can quickly just kind of go through you can pause it if you want to see them more so there's from Marquise the Kingdom there's all of my stitch pins that I have so these are all kind of glary so yep so and then these are all blink and then here's all of my like non Disney pins. So, there you go, there's a whole bunch of my buttons. So, that's it. Hello. Um, so, yeah, it's after 10 o'clock, and uh, I'm gonna work on editing all these videos and get the snippet video up and uh, go to bed. And hopefully that girl will 
go to bed before then. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, good night.